What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I actually have something really cool for you guys. Basically, I had this concept uh, for a Thievy, Thievy, Thievel and Didi team uh, back in early 2020, and I actually took it to uh, Collinsville Regionals and did okay with it, I guess. Um, I cut a couple of locals in Chicago with it, so I, trust the, I trusted the team a lot. Uh, however, the team has essentially been buffed now that Expanding Force in Didi is a thing. Uh, if you don't know, Expanding Force is a move that has 80 base power. However, when Psychic Terrain is up, it hits all opposing Pokemon and doubles in power, which is really, really strong. Especially when you slap a Choice Scarf onto that thing, it's really hard to outspeed it. I actually uploaded a video the other day talking about uh, Ndidi and Alakazam teams, which are running around right now with this move. Uh, however, I got some information wrong in that video and uh, eventually opted just to delete it so I wouldn't spread any misinformation. So yeah, uh, it's... Psychic Seed Unburdened Thievil with Fake Tears, Foul Play, Beat Up Snarl. Beat Up is great for uh, giving Terrakion some boosts. Uh, and I'm running Citrus Berry, Electroweb, Rotom Wash. I might actually change up this moveset a bit. It's kind of a weird moveset. I kind of slapped Electroweb on there at the last second when I realized I had very little speed control. Uh, but yeah, this team's still in the middle of testing phase, so uh, we'll call this sort of a, a testing showdown live rather than a completed team. For that reason, I won't be leaving a paste in the description down below, but if you guys want to copy all the sets, here you go. Just go ahead and pause there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this standpoint point in time. Let's try to shoot for 150. And also check out the Three Rock Moon t-shirts. I already raised $44 off of selling these t-shirts, and uh, they're, they're 20 bucks each. I don't get all the money from it, but... Uh, if I break even with the $60 I paid for the design, I'll try to get another one out for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. Nice. Nice. Alright, it looks like we're facing an Ndidi Alakazam team. And honestly, Ndidi Thievil is a really solid lead here. Um, I can bring my Terrakion in the back because it's protected from priority moves by uh, nature of having that Psychic Train up. I think my last Pokemon is going to be... Do I want a Moongus here? Amoongus kind of gets nanate on by this entire team. Rotom doesn't seem great. I think I'm going to have to go Incineroar here. And having do dark type, do dark types, two dark types for this matchup isn't too bad, especially when you consider uh, the options they've got going on here. All right, I am Choice Scarf in DD. However, I kind of want to play my cards close to my chest here because uh, they could just switch in the Torkoal here. I'll get in the Incineroar and I'll actually go for a Snarl. Because I'm safety goggles in the Incineroar, they can't put me to sleep. A little bit concerned about G-Max Venusaur. There's the G-Max. There's the Follow Me. I'll be able to neuter the damage output just a bit. As they go for Vine Lash into this Thievil. I didn't bring my, uh, my boy to this game, so unfortunately I don't have a way of stopping this. Or preventing damage, but I can go for another one pretty safely. Although, in fact, I'll actually go for... Uh, I think I might just try to knock out this this Venusaur, actually. But I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll just follow me. So I'll Darkest Lair right here, and I'll go for another Snarl. Just lowering the damage output a bit. Yeah, they, they could switch in the Torkoal, but I'm pretty certain, yeah, that, that's what they're going for. I do the damage output just a little bit again. As they go for the Max Ooze, which shouldn't knock me out. I think I actually live the Vine Lash now. Get the Darkest Lair right off here. Yes, I do live one more. I'm assuming Torkoal comes out here. Yes, okay, beautiful. I can go for a Snarl pretty safely. I'll still be able to outspeed that Venusaur. And I'll actually just go for the Flare Blitz into the Venusaur this turn. Yeah, because I want to get rid of Venusaur, and then Ndidi kind of sweeps this whole team. So I'll just go for... Uh, do I Snarl, or do I go for... Um, yeah, I'll just go for Snarl. Yeah, that's fine. Snarl is going to go off into the Venusaur. Probably going to go for a move into my Incineroar, the Max Quake. I am able to live that. I don't have a berry on me, which is a little bit upsetting, but I'm going to knock out this thing. Lose both of my mons, but in comes Terrakion and Ndidi, which is actually really, really good considering I haven't Dynamaxed yet, and I still have two turns of Psychic Terrain to go for this move. Not, neither of his Pokemon really want to deal with it unless there's an Alakazam in the back, which will be really scary. There's the Alakazam. Okay. So that's really bad for me. That's really bad. What I could do here is go for a Protect and actually go for um, Max Strike to lower the speed of this Alakazam. And then I can rock slide. There's the expanding force, and DD takes it like a champ. I'm gonna lower the speed of the Alkazam so it's within rock slide range, and I should be able to win now. There's the heat wave, it's gonna be doing a lot. Beautiful. Uh, let me just go for this rock slide. Or actually, is it Choice Scarf? I don't want it to be Choice Scarf. I'd be really scared of its Choice Scarf. <laughs> I'll probably lose if it's Choice Scarf, in fact. I'll just go for the rock slide. And another max strike. 
hoping it's not Choice Scarf. Hopefully it's like Focus Sash or something. Something that makes sense. <laughs> Please don't be Scarf. Please don't be Scarf. Okay, we're good. Good game. GG, well played. <laughs> I was really concerned about the Scarf. So, yeah. Um, and DD saved the, uh, saved the day at the end of that match. Which is nice. If you guys hear any like random noises, that's my rats running around in the background chewing up on random papers. So hopefully that isn't too bad. Yo, hey, Chef, let me get some data on Lycanroc. Lycanroc. Um, Dusk. Alright, yeah. 110 base speed. I'm going to be outspeeding that with Terrakion. Am I? Wait, what's his base speed? Is it 109 or 112? I always forget. 108. So I'm not outspeeding that. Yikes. Okay. Um, I still like the Indeedy Thievil lead. There actually isn't much they can do about that. Yeah, that's not a bad lead at all. Um, I could go anti-trick room with Amoongus here. In fact, Amoongus might just be good in general, but I think I might just go for the same team I went with last time. It's relatively good versus Sun offense, especially so, especially since we're probably facing the same kind of Venusaur team. There's the Lycanroc. It probably doesn't want to stay in for this hit. I don't think he's going to trick room. I really don't. I probably knock that thing out anyways. I'll go for a Snarl. If he Trick Rooms, I shouldn't be in a terrible position. Because I could always just Dynamax, knock it out with Terrakion. Ooh, this is kind of a tough choice. Kind of a tough choice. Let me run a Calc. Damage Calculator. How much time do I have? I don't have much time. I have a minute, 26 seconds. <laughs> or do I? I don't know. Indeedy. I could type right. Mail. 252. How much time do I have? Uh, enough. I don't want. I don't want to waste my time calcing. Um, we'll just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. Snarl. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have knocked it out anyways. With a uh, max strike. There's the trick room. That's fine. Evil has enough special defense where I can probably like. Jeez, do I Dynamax the Evil? I don't Dynamax the Evil. That's a horrible idea. But, um... I can get an Incineroar here pretty safely, I think. And attempt to Snarl, and then get into Rakion. And then next turn, be alright. As he instructs... Get this Terrakion in. I should be able to Dynamax and knock out the Torkoal. I want to keep Ndidi for the endgame because it's actually really, really nice for the rest of his team. Uh, so here I will attempt to fake out onto this Torkoal. I don't think I'll get it, but I should be able to max Rockfall. Oh, I'm dumb. I honestly completely forgot about that terrain, but it, it doesn't really matter in the end. I should have just knocked out a Rangru. <laughs> I don't know why. Like As soon as I click the move, I'm like, oh, I have terrain up. You always forget about terrain when it's like covered behind... Um, when it's covered behind like the the weather effects in the in the game, there's a Lola Marowak. Uh, not the worst actually. I should be able to. I have two turns of Psychic Terrain. I'm gonna Darkest there at max guard and hope that it isn't hope that it isn't a mistake. Is he Bone Meringues and actually misses? Oh no! I just protected myself. That's fine. Okay, cool. So I should be able to double into this, um... I should be able to double into the slot now. Or actually, no, I just win if I keep Ndidi for the end game. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll uh, go for the Darkest Lair right again, and I'll go for another Max, Mo uh, Max Rockfall. He doesn't live that. I don't know why you're detecting. Did he Dynamax at all this game? Has he just forgotten Dynamax exists? Good game. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax at all. Yeah, like Dynamax Marowak would have been scary. Shout out to me though for forgetting entirely about that move. Is this the same guy we faced? I think this is. All right, well, GLHF again. There aren't many people on this late on Showdown, I guess. Uh, we'll lead off the exact same way. DD in the back. Or no, I think the other guy had a real move. No, he didn't. He didn't. My last Pokemon. Do I bring Terrakion? Yes. 
I'll turn on the timer on this guy. I don't think he has any way of adjusting that automatically wins him the game. There's the Porygon 2. Oh, he might go Trick Room mode. Trick Room mode would be pretty scary. Uh, however, uh, let me think here. Let me think. Go for a Snarl. Switch in the Indeedy. He might just follow me. He has no switch-ins to Expanding Force. So I feel pretty comfortable going for, um... For another Snarl and an Expanding Force. He really he really doesn't have any switch-ins here. When both of his mons are at minus one, it's, it's kind of tough for him. And if he brings in the Torkoal, I can Dynamax and Didi. Goes for the Ice Beam, doesn't do too much. Goes for the Expanding Force, does very little and nothing to Thievil. Get some damage off, get another Snarl off. Beautiful. I'll uh, go for my second Snarl here. I should be able to take anything he throws my way, really. Yeah, I think I take both of these hits. But I could also save this mod for the endgame, but I don't have anything to switch in for it. We'll just go for it. He definitely doesn't want to switch anything into Expanding Force. Take that hit. Get mine off. The Snarl should KO the Porygon too, as long as I connect. Critical hit didn't matter. <laughs> Here's the Kunkle Dunk. Ooh, this is actually pretty problematic for me. Cause he can go for Let me think. I just have to I just have to stall at the trick room actually. And keep Ndidi healthy, which is kinda funny. I can win with Ndidi, but it's really, really, really hard. I think my play is to go hard into I like Dynamax my Thievil? I think I Dynamax the Thievil. Okay, I'm Dynamaxing the Thievil. This is scary. Let me go for Max Darkness. And I'll switch into Moongus. Because <laughs> I can take the hit from Conkler at this range, and it's going to be really hard to take this Eruption, though. Tell me I take the hit. Tell me I take this Max Knuckle. I don't. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. Now I just lose. GG. Well played. Unfortunate. Well, oh. <laughs> that, that kind of sucks. Let's grab one more. Let's grab one more. I want to at least show off like the beat up strat. I don't think I've used it yet. This looks like a really, really difficult to beat trick room team. Let me think. Um, he's going to lead off trick room. It's starting to be like some follow me trick room stuff. I think I go with the brain dead lead once more. I can bring uh, Rotom in the back, and it isn't too bad. I have to be careful though. I think my last mon's gonna be um, Amoongus. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. Expanding force is pretty free. I can uh, fake tears as well, but I think it's in my best interest just to snarl. Because I'm not going to knock out either of these Pokemon with Expanding Force on its own. And I'd rather not them have too much offensive pressure versus me. There's a Trick Room. Um, I should be able to take any hit I want from this range. And they're probably going to be going for... Um, we're going to double into this uh, Ndidi slot. Kind of want to stay in, not going to lie. end game though and DD seems really nice we we'll just go for another snarl and switch in uh, road and wash yeah beautiful over the snarl and I just have to stall at the trick room in fact um, I should be able to let me think I kind of want to catch him on a turn with the Porygon like just be able to knock it out um more than likely, he's going to switch in... Well, no. I, I mean, Togus might just sack itself here. I'll go for the Thunderbolt into Togus as well as another Snarl. Yeah, he's going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. He's not Crit Kiss, which is really nice. Get some health back. Get a Thunderbolt off to KO. And I think I'm in a relatively okay position. 
Here's the Torkoal. Um, Ndidi can clean up in the end game. And Amoongus is really important to beating everything uh, Ndidi can't. So I think here it's in my best interest just to um, max Geyser into this Torkoal slot. And probably just... Yeah, I think I just sack here. Go for my Snarl. Able to take that hit. Goes to the Thunderbolt, doesn't knock me out. Geyser goes off. I get another Snarl off. Torkoal isn't KOing me. I can go for a Max Guard here. And uh, actually, go, I'm going to go for a Fake Tears into this Porygon. Because I'm more concerned about knocking out that Porygon next turn. And it's probably going to go for like a Recover. Because uh, Torkoal isn't dealing much damage to anything this turn, especially if he goes for Overgrowth right here. He's dealing zero. Goes to the Recover. And now that Trick Room is over, I can actually go for Max Geyser into a second Fake Tears, which is really, really clean. I don't need Rotom to win the game. I have Expanding Force and DD and, and Fake Tears. So I managed to get some good board positioning here. Start the timer on this guy. Yeah, beautiful. Porygon 2 is one of the most satisfying Pokemon to KO. Get in the Ndidi, and I don't think he has a way of winning. I, I really don't. Because I can just expanding force this whole team. There's the Primarina. Beautiful. Let me go for the Force onto the Primarina. Go for the Fake Tears onto the Primarina. I don't think you take the hit, man. Yeah, he does. But he doesn't take a second one. Good game, man. GG. Well played. Alright, we'll, we'll get one last game. One last game. I really want to click Terrakion. I don't know if I clicked Terrakion in this video yet. What is this? That's an Urshifu. Please be... Oh no, that's Slowbro. Okay, um... So we're facing more hard Trick Room, which gets messed up by Amoongus, which is really nice. Uh, what's... Is Snorlax base speed 30 or lower? It's 30, okay. So we're going to speed tie with our Amoongus, which isn't too bad. Um, I'll go ahead and... Hmm. I want to remove his option to fake out me. So I think what I'll do here is I'll go Amoongus and Didi. I mean, what's his, his Trick Room setter is just... It's just the Slowbro, which I can take a hit from. Well, not in Psychic Terrain. Let me think. Let me think here. All right, and DD Feeble it is. <laughs> more, more brain dead games. Screw it. I don't care if we win or lose this one. I want to bring that mon. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with this. Perfectly fine with this. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why I'm fine with this? Because I can do this. Just follow me. Go over this. Uh, this might be a horrible play, but I want to do it anyways. Eat up my own and DD. Switch in the Terrakion. There's the follow me. That, oh, that's a little bit annoying. I'm dumb. I'm big dumb, actually. Yikes. Marcos, how can you get so dumb, Marcos? How did you get so dumb? Screw it, Dynamax anyways. Max Knuckle. Foul play. <laughs> that seems about right. Yeah, I'll Max Knuckle you and I'll foul play you. I actually really made a horrible play there, but we should be all right. I'm not going to be able to take these combination of hits. Just the max replenish. Surprised he doesn't have any coverage there. I'm playing this game awful, but I wanted to bring Terrakion. All right, um, here I can go for my max rockfall for a KO onto the Togekiss. And I still have that foul play. <laughs> I still have the foul play for Snorlax to scare him. And he has to make a decision. Who is he going to KO? Who is it going to be? Just the replenish onto my Terrakion. I get in my Amoongus here. I think. I could also bring in Ndidi, but I'd rather have it for the endgame. So there's the Mian Xiao. Ooh, okay. I go for this Rage Powder. Go for my Foul Play. You can max guard if he wants, but next turn he's just guaranteed to get KO'd by Foul Play. 
I played this awful. I really did. Crash ass. Dude, I don't even need to click it. What does he think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna follow me. Like, what, what other moves do I do? Man's angry. There's the close combat. Good game, man. Good game. You, you played bad. Let me go for this uh, Rage Powder once more. Another uh, another foul play. Get that KO. Beautiful. GG. Go for the Expanding Force with the Choice Scarf. Go for the Fake Tears just an Nene on him. Go ahead, man. Click your move. I bet he's typing something out. He's real angry. Come on, give me some content. I want some content from this. Yeah, 20 seconds, man. Like, what, what, what do you think? I think he's... He might just be thinking about it. Like, he doesn't realize I'm Choice Scarf, I guess. 10 seconds. Come on, man. Click the move. We'll get one more after this. I keep saying one more. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> and I never get it. Beautiful. GG. I'll keep that open in case he decides to send me some uh, some fan letters. Some love some love letters. Some fan mail. Either one. Yo, hey, chef. Why are we only facing hard trick room today? What what's with the hard trick room? There's a dog barking outside. It's my sister's dog. Alright, um, yeah, what is, what is with the hard trick room today? Uh, I guess here I can, let me think. I'm really hoping that dog doesn't show up on the capture. <laughs> I mean, Lorantis is kind of terrifying, to be honest. Or I might just go in DD Feeble again. I'm gonna go in DD Thievo again. I'm really gonna be brain dead, aren't I? Go with this Amoongus, Drakion, why not? Alright. Um, let me see here. Not really concerned about Lorantis, to be honest. I don't wanna go for a foul play or uh, fake tears or anything, because it wouldn't help. So I'll go for this. Um, you go for this uh, fake tears into you. Is he down to Max's here? I don't quite pick up the KO. This goes for the Ice Beam. Okay, um, awful play by him. Go for a fake out, or, um... Oh, did he just Max Knuckle with Lorantis? Bro, how low on the ladder am I? Alright, so I'm gonna KO this thing this turn. Um, I suppose my best play is technically foul play. Yeah, it's not gonna KO, but... Stop Trick Room. Bro, it's happening. I actually get to click it. Sorry I was so quiet, like, the past couple of minutes. I had two sisters arguing with each other, which is not fun for content creation. There's the Hatterene. Bro, it's time. It's time. Let me click this Rock Slide. Let me click this Beat Up. Are we finally getting it? Is it finally happening? Of course it is. Oh, we don't. We don't get it. But I haven't Dynamaxed yet. I probably win. I probably win. He, he has Dynamaxed. I haven't. And he has Mayor like a Lola. Um, yeah, my best play is just Max. Max Rockfall. And uh, I think it's within foul play range. It might be. Ooh, please tell me I live. I just barely live. Beautiful. You get put to sleep, I win. Good game.
GG. Well played, bro. People are really taking their time right now. Let me turn on that timer. Spore, max rockfall. All right, not bad. Not bad. So the team, like I said, is still like a work in progress, I guess. Hopefully I'll be able to work out any any kind of weird stuff it's got going on. I definitely don't know how... I don't know how much I like this Rotom Wash set. I'm probably going to switch it out for something else. I might run Pre-Marina or Milotic. I don't know. I just really like having electric moves on the team. It's nice for uh, covering my bases. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.